Hello, Caroline. Oh, uh, this is Myra here, Myra Pendleton. Darling, I was just wondering, you know that little dinner party I'm giving on Sunday evening? Well, I was just wondering, do you think I could get Joan and Ricky along? What do you mean, Joan and Ricky who? The Sutherlands. Joan and Ricky Sutherland. <laughs> oh, well, the Bonnings, then. Yeah, for one fair Sydney season opens, everybody's bound to be after them, so I thought I might as well get in with my invitation first. Yes, well, I mean, I don't see how she can refuse. Oh, well, my dear, she must have masses of spare time. Yes, well, I mean, she's only doing it two or three times a week. <laughs> Giving her performance, I mean. <laughs> yes, well, what would she do with all the rest of the time? Count her lolly. <laughs> Darling, don't be vulgar. <laughs> oh, yes, well, I suppose she must practice, but... You can hardly expect her to run up and down scales and things on a Sunday evening now, can you? Oh, well, my dear, the neighbours would complain. What do you mean, what neighbours? She must have neighbours. Well, she must have neighbours wherever she's living. No, I don't. No, well, that's why I was calling you. See, I wanted a few nips. Well, not exactly. No, I haven't actually met them, but... You know, I'm sort of in that entertainment clique, you know. <laughs> Lots of mutual friends and that. Yes, well, I mean, I did have coffee with Gracie Fields when she was here. <laughs> well, not exactly, no. She was sitting at the next table. <laughs> <laughs> but we did speak. Yes, she leant across and asked me for sugar bowl. <laughs> Lovely person. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, my dear, I can't go backstage at Her Majesty's most gone. The thing happened. You see, we left it too late to get tickets for the first night. Other night? Oh, <laughs> my darling. I wouldn't be seen dead on any of the other nights. There for the public. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, what I was wondering was this. If I could get along on Sunday evening, perhaps we could get her to sing. Just for us. <laughs> uh, my dear, she must have a party piece. <laughs> what? The music? Oh, well, I suppose he plays the piano. <laughs> well, he's supposed to be very musical. <laughs> no, darling, the piano. <laughs> oh, yes, dear. Yes, I know he can duck, but, well, we can hardly expect him to wave his baton all over my lounge room. <laughs> <laughs> darling, I don't care what you say. I think it'd be good for them. I mean, they could meet... All our closest friends. What, who's coming? Oh, well, there's Giggles Fortescue. <laughs> and she can tell them all about her horses. And there's Madge and Tony Lewis. Now, they've just come back from Hong Kong. Now, they could... I know what I'll do. I'll try and persuade them to bring their colour slides along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, if not, George can always fall back on his Winnie Atwell record. <laughs> Yes, well, I don't care what you say. I think it'd be really relaxing for them to just be able to put their feet up and get away from all those pseudo-theatrical hangers-on. <laughs> yes. I want them along just as simple, ordinary, unpretentious people. Yes. I'm quite sure that underneath all that, beneath all that clamour and acclaim, they're really just ordinary people, just like you and I. <laughs> With voices. Thank <laughs> you.